Hello Scorpio, welcome to my channel. I hope you're all doing well and thank you for all your likes, shares and subscribes. This is a general reading. It might not resonate with everyone. Please take what resonates and leave the rest alone or you can look at your moon and rising signs for greater clarity. We have unlikely. So there could be unlikely events, unlikely outcomes that you're not seeing at this moment in time. Transformation. Now this is beautiful energy. This is change coming in. So unlikely changes on your path. Could be your challenges ending suddenly. That you don't, you know, things you don't see coming. But it's going to transform things. Things are growing and ending themselves. Oops, it is I need another one, sorry. Healing. You're going to heal. So if there's challenges going on, like I say, un unexpected events, there's change coming in and it's going to be very healing for you. It might be that you need to take time out for yourself to pamper yourself here or do something you enjoy. It would definitely help here. But there's a healing, recovering type of energy around you. Do some tarot and see what it says. If this doesn't resonate with you, there is a playlist on my channel uh, with other readings that might resonate with you better here. Ace of Pentacles. Aces are brand new beginnings, you see. Two of Swords. The King of Swords, the King of Wands, overall central energy is the Five of Cups, the Two of Cups, there's your challenges ending, so the Ten of uh, Wands here, and there's your new transformational energy coming in, your Ace of Wands and the Full Card. Now the overall energy here is disappointment. And upsets. Now fives are change, so it's change that needs to come in. And what needs to change here, uh, Scorpio, is we need to let the past go. We need to let past upsets go. What's happened in the past we can't change. We can't refill these cups, so we need to be looking now at the blessings we have in our life. If he turns round, he can see the blessings are still there, and he could move over that bridge. And this is what this is about. So it's healing from the past. There's a healing energy around you. Spirit is trying to connect in with you to help you heal. They're trying to help you. This will end your burdens if you start to look at your blessings in the present. So it might feel as well that it's a very unlikely thing that's going to happen here. You don't think you'll get over what's went, what's gone on. This is a change. Change will come in. There's transformational energy. And if you start to come into the present, you will end your burdens. Your burdens are coming to an end. Now, it could be the burdens you've been through that have caused this upset as well. So Spirit's saying your challenges are coming to an end. The good thing about this is that you have gained a lot of knowledge here and you've grown as a soul person. These are all challenges that you have survived. So it's time to heal now from past upsets. It's time to let them go. And it's time to move forward. Because Spirit is wanting brand new beginnings, creative opportunities to come in, opportunities for growth here. Um, this could be something that you're investing in that you're passionate about. It's time to look at these blessings and become passionate and inspired again because there's great stability could come forward as well from investing in them. So this is about leaving your burdens behind, leaving disappointments behind and being prepared to take that leap of faith towards new beginnings. And this is the transformational energy. So the, the universe is supporting you to do this. Now he's starting from ground zero. He doesn't take his burdens with him. He's leaving his disappointments behind now and he's taking that leap of faith to go forward and he's travelling light. He's travelling light. He's starting again here. So have the confidence to take that leap of faith. Let the disappointments go now and it's about making a decision that you seem to be putting off. Now we can be putting decisions off for lots of reasons. We can be doing it because we're frightened of what's coming in. We don't see that we can't control it. It feels as if we're out of control. There can be a fear factor attached to it. It can also be because we don't have enough information. Now, we can get in touch with people that can support us here. So there's intellectual people around. So this could be advice from a lawyer or anybody professional that's got any kind of knowledge that could help you with this decision making. And when we're making decisions, we're always listening to our intuition about how we want to go forward, our gut feeling on things. What we're feeling, sensing and seeing around us is always very important. So connect in with your intuition here. This could also be you making the decision and deciding to take that leap of faith and communicating about how you want to go forward. So having the confidence now to speak up can help. 
uh, you're making the decision and you're speaking up. This could also be just talking to someone as well. Somebody could bring information in a Libra Gemini or Aquarius energy. It doesn't have to be that energy, but it could help you with this decision making. And through this decision, you're going to be able to take a leap of faith, leave your challenges behind and bring yourself into balance again. Bring, bring yourself into harmony with your, you know, your heart and your head is, is coming into balance. Now, this could also be a new opportunity because we're leaving past disappointments behind and we've healed from them. We're opening up opportunities here for new relationships to come forward. Now, you might think this is highly unlikely uh, what I'm saying to you, but the energy around you, the universe is supporting you. Spirit is handing you, wanting you to open up. It's about opening up your heart again to new opportunities. And there could be a Cancer, Pisces or Scorpio energy comes forward at some point so that you can start up a new relationship if that's what you desire. And this could bring greater stability into your life. But it doesn't have to be a relationship that you're wanting. It's going towards anything that inspires you. So any creative ideas you have, any skills you have you want to develop, something you've always wanted to learn or develop, a talent that you have, take up a new course, start up your own business, it's time to leave the burdens behind, all the disappointments behind, and go forward towards these new opportunities. Now, we've got transformation, and on the transformation card here, we have the King of Wands. And the King of Wands is somebody who's very creative. He works to his skill set. He knows what talents he has, and he uses them. So like I said, you might want to start up your own business. You might want to take on a, a learn a new course. You might want to develop a skill that you already have. But what we're doing here, the secret is we're investing ourselves into things that we're passionate about, things we can put our heart and soul into, things we're going to enjoy. Um, if you're looking for a relationship as well, there could also be an uh, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy coming forward there as well. But whatever you're investing in, this will bring change into your life. And it's going to bring a new opportunity for stability. Now, this could be investing in a new home, a new job that brings wage rises, wage increases. If you're learning a new talent, it could lead to a better paid employment, all this type of thing. Anything you want to buy as well. This could also be a windfall, a lottery win, uh, or an inheritance coming through, because it's anything to do that could heal things and help things change, bring the change in, because it's about it's things you've never seen coming, you see. Unlikely outcomes and unlikely events. So they are coming here, uh, Scorpio. Anything that's going to bring uh, more financial abundance in. Now, I will just clarify this leap of faith and we'll see what this is about. This middle row, really, the Two of Swords and the Five of Cups energy. Yeah. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So what we've got here is with this leap of faith, it's time to make that decision to leave disappointments behind and take that leap of faith forward. And it's time to make long-term plans for the future here, Scorpio. So like I say, going towards what we're passionate about, what we want to start up here, any ideas we have, definitely go down that path and make long-term plans for your future because that's what will bring the growth in. Being focused, our dreams all need plans. So we know and it gives us the confidence to go forward. Do not overthink this. Absolutely not. You Don't get in your own road here. If you take the blindfolds off and the binds off, you can easily go forward. So don't overthink it. It's time to take the leap of faith forward and you're going to have new hope and rejuvenation coming into your life here. And this is you shining. You're shining. You can see her balancing the cups out as well, like we were talking about here. Beautiful balance, new hope, rejuvenation, and we're going towards great things here that are going to bring greater stability. So we'll just take a couple of these precious gifts, precious gifts. Friendship, family and love are precious gifts. Gifts. Do not lose sight of what is important. Oh, this one. Archangel Metatron wants to speak to you today. Archangel Metatron is saying, I am your link between heaven and earth, between your humanity and your divinity. I am here to help you heal the conflict that exists between your heart and your mind. And this is the healing energy we were talking about here. So Archangel Metatron will help with this healing. Um, I am here to help you heal the conflict between that exists between your heart and mind. And that's what I was saying here. It's definitely about your heart and mind coming into one. Um, Feel me in your heart and thoughts. Through oneness, there is love. 
beautiful energy. So you're being supported there, definitely. I hope this helps. Please like, share and subscribe and I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.